I mean, realistically, this this has been rolled out atrociously. People have no idea what those restrictions are. And and we don't have really any good understanding of why certain countries have been named and why other countries haven't been. It seems very arbitrary, very discriminatory. I'll I'll even say racist. Um, the way that those have been chosen. We we've seen the Omicron in other countries that have not been named. You know, the the the, the way it's been done is not transparent. It is not clear. It is it is hard for, for Canadians to understand what's happening. Sorry. And and Can frankly we are two I, I years go, into but... this. Like we should have gotten this. Uh, you, you're sorry. I just want to make sure this is an important allegation. You're saying that the, the 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 ten countries that were banned, all in Africa, you're saying that that's a racist rule that they're banned and not other countries. That's your allegation, Ms. McPherson. We, but you know what? We have countries in Europe that have already got the the um, the new variant. Absolutely. Why is there some countries being named and not others? There is this appearance that it is very very random how it is being how it is being rolled out. Why these countries okay, are being I selected? being punished instead of other countries is, it looks racist to me. Okay, well, I, listen, I'm, I'm way over time, but I must get Mr. Verani to respond to that because that's quite an allegation that there's racist policies here in terms of the travel ban, sir. So as a child of Uganda and as a parliamentary secretary in this government, I categorically reject that, that allegation. I think that's false and based on nothing. This is based on the science and the evidence. The first detection of the virus was originating in South Africa. We applaud the South Africans but for having the wherewithal Europe, to be transparent in, in that Europe. regard. Why are you not if, I could finish, if, if, if I could finish, Heather, and with, with respect to the other seven countries, many other nations have done the exact same thing with respect to targeting those other seven nations. It has been extended to Malawi, Egypt, and Nigeria, I believe, because of the inability to test in certain regions of the world. That is not a racist decision. That is a decision that is based on the evidence. And that is what we've done throughout this pandemic. That is what we will continue to do to keep Canadians safe.